In engineering, keeping track of your units is very important, and Excel has some tools to help you convert things from one unit set to another. So for this uh, section, go ahead and open exlab3 underscore convert dot csv, and it should look something like this. You can download that from the site, and we're going to use Excel's convert tool, and so we're just going to follow this this setup that, that is already here. We're going to say equals convert parenthesis, and we want to convert B1 to, and then we're going to put this in quotes because it's characters instead of numbers, pound force, close quote, um, comma, then another quote, and we're going to change it to newtons. Hit enter. And there, there you have it. It's converted the pounds to newtons, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to do all of these equals convert B2 meters, change it to miles. this one next equals convert B3 grams Celsius to Fahrenheit. Let's change days to seconds. Now this one, because it's in inches squared, we're going to have to convert it twice. And we'll see that right here. So first of all, we're going to convert once. But inside of that conversion, we're going to convert something else. We're going to first con convert B7 from inches to meters. And then it's going to take that value, this value right here that's going to spit out, and we're going to convert that one from inches to meters. This way we can put it from inches squared to meters squared by converting it twice. Now finally, this one is in Pascals, which is Newtons per meter squared, and PSI is pounds per square inch. So we can actually use the conversion function inside of formulas. You can divide with it, you can multiply with it, you can raise it to a power, and that's what we're going to do here. We're going to say equals convert. And first, let's convert V8 from newtons to pound force. We're going to close that and we're going to divide that by another conversion. We're going to convert 1 from meters to inches and we're going to square that so that we get um, pounds per square inch. And that's going to go ahead and give that. Now, finally, um, you'll notice that we have 
all these decimals that get spit out by Excel, when we're actually taking data, sometimes we don't have that much accuracy in the data that we represent. So let's say I'm measuring with a ruler and, and the smallest it can go down is to an eighth of an inch. Well, if that's the case, I shouldn't be able to get all of these decimal places afterwards. That's where significant figures come in, comes in and Excel can work with significant figures in this way. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab B1 and we're going to change that to 10.0 and say that we have three significant figures and we can use these buttons up here to increase and decrease the decimal size. So we're going to increase it to three. Now in B3 uh, we're going to leave that as a hundred um, so we have three significant figures there and in B4 we're going to give this four significant figures so let's go ahead and increase the the decimal here three spaces now e6 and e7 um, we are going to use scientific notation um, so it becomes easier to read so go ahead and highlight those and we can go up here and we can put it into scientific so that way it makes some of these easier to read and we can put significant figures in so that we can tell people what we're working with in the first place.